I'll Google it after the game. I want to be able to. Otherwise, I'll just watch it without subtitles. I hope my Englando will do. I speak Danish, my first language. I speak some German. Very, very little German. That's almost Skyrim. The song was so hype. I remember when I was watching this Skyrim trailer. And I was like, Oh my god! Gotta get a little too close, babe. This place to push, it's really strange. Oh, you fucker. I think I'll do well in this matchup. It's more about later. It becomes hard. He starts doing tons of damage. Do fuck you. I usually do max Q in melee matchups, but I think Craig is an exception. I want to have those levels of E since he has no Marunes, as well as. So he has no MR runes, and I want to be able to dodge his skills. And with my E being on the lower cooldown, it's gonna help me dodge his skills a lot more. It doesn't activate if you miss your passive. Fuck, why did I Q?
Thanks for stopping, Sylvus. Why is Teeth a good champion to learn? Um, he can easily be countered. Yeah, his landing phase sucks, but he just brings global pressure to your team, which is very, very strong. And his late game is pretty good. He sets up team fights really well by stunning people. This game. I will not I'll get shipped then. 300 gold. My favorite thing to do outside League? Probably watch shows right now. I don't really have time to do much else and play League, so the little time that I do have, I like to watch shows. I just watched Orange is the New Black. And I watched Game of Thrones, I watched American Horror Story, even though it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know, I haven't watched the mini series, but I like it, so I'm just I'm starting to go through all the shows that everyone has fucking watched. But now I'm watching them. Just, I just recently got like a liking for watching shows. I don't know, like sometimes when you're a pro gamer, it feels like your life is standing still, because wake up. Okay, I pretty much have the same day every day, okay? And, um... Alright, so imagine if you have pretty much the same day every single day. You wake up, you play solo queue, um... You wake up, you play, you get ready at 9, uh, from 9.30 till 12 you play solo queue. Um, then, sorry, from 12, alright, so from 12 to 4 you play scrims, and then, What the heck? Alright, sorry, it's hard for me to talk while I'm playing like this. Alright, so, from 12 to 4, you play scrims. Then you play solo queue from 4 to 5. Uh, eat, solo queue and eat. Then 5 to 7, you play scrims. 7 to 8, you talk about how your scrims went, what you're gonna do, all those things. And then you sign posters for an hour, and then you solo queue. Stream solo queue, or just solo queue off stream. That is literally my everyday for the last four weeks, and there has been no, like, it never changes. It's the same scrims. It's, if you do that every single day, you, I don't know, life just doesn't feel like it's getting anywhere. You're just not stuck. But um, I don't know. When I watch shows, it's like there's like the development in shows, like development of characters. So it doesn't feel like my life's standing still because. The show is constantly evolving, and I'm constantly like getting further into the show. And I don't know, it makes me feel more like... That was what my dog really did for me, like I had a dog that was constantly changing and getting older. And I had him to take care of, but when I didn't have him anymore, it's just, my life just kind of felt like it wasn't going anywhere. And we were just screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming, solo queue, solo queue. Play 12 hours a day, uh, sleep seven, uh, 6 to 7, uh, play LCS on weekends, do mediocre. Solo queue time is also work time. I can't not solo queue. Solo queue is part of my job. It's something we have to do. As much as I enjoy it, it also, I also burn out from the game sometimes. You don't... 
hard on. Like everyone, every pro gets hard on the game every once in a while. This is how it is. I was like a week ago, but now it's getting a lot better. And I got more motivation because I felt like my performance wasn't good enough. Motivates me to play more. Local gave me some goals that I needed to achieve, and by like working towards and achieving those, it makes me enjoy the game more and it makes me feel like I'm improving. Uh, so local has kind of helped me out with that, and watching shows is kind of helped me. So, they're pretty good one now. Love to work playing solo like you. Well, I don't know. How long does it take for you to burn out from solo queue and not want to play anymore? Does it take two hours, one hour, depending on the day? If it's a real job and real jobs allow you to take a day or two off, is it never allowed? But it's not a normal job because it's more than a normal job. This is a full life job, and it's just like a normal like 8 to 5 job, it's just like literally all day every day, including weekends. We get half days off on Sundays, so after LCS when we get back at like 5, um, we have the rest of the day off, but the thing is that we all want to become the best and we all want to prove that we can be the best, so when we have the rest of the day off, it's 5, uh, people go eat food together and then we play solo queue and stream. Those. Uh, I don't know. It just proves to your teammates too that you that you're working as hard as you can, and you're not like messing around when you could be playing solo queue. You're not like chilling or like doing all these weird things. Like you're just focusing on getting better. But I like it. It's like some, like I said, sometimes you burn out, but right now I'm having a lot of fun. That's why I'm streaming every day. Because I can enjoy solo queue to the point where I can stream and stuff. Like that. here was really well like we have like it's stressful but things like we have a cook and we have a coach and we have all these things it it lowers the stress because okay after a scrim imagine like a scrim where you lost and people made mistakes instead of players calling each other out on what they did because not everyone realizes their mistakes and wants to call out their own mistakes if you start calling out your teammates mistakes all the time they're gonna become hostile with you and you're not gonna be like close friends because it's like, oh my god, this guy hates me, he keeps calling out my mistakes, and he keeps saying that I'm shit, or whatever, but when you have a coach that can say, like, okay, dude, you did bad, like, it's my job to tell you that you fucked up, and have the exact replay and show you here, here you fucked up, and why you fucked up, and this is what you do to get better, so, especially, like, having the coach and having the coach is something that's changed a lot, and it's really helped the team, like, it's something that other teams don't really have. I don't feel like other teams have as good of a coach as we do. And they definitely don't have like a steady cook. Yeah, I like my life right now. I don't know. I like to think that see, watching shows and stuff like that helps me. Yeah, I'm just bullshitting myself. But then I'll just keep bullshitting myself because it's helping out. Oh yeah, Curse does have a code. There is only death. Mine or yours. Well, 
Monty, best coach world. Monty is fun, but he does not use as much time with the team as Loco does. He doesn't live here, he doesn't watch all their scrims. Logo probably wants to do that, he probably has the right intentions, but he doesn't have the time. I am fairly sure that he puts his streaming career over his, his coaching, which is great future of Isaac. He's a big personality as a, um, as a caster. And that's probably where, like, he grows the most. And then he can always be like, I don't know. I don't, don't want to talk too much about it because I don't know too much about it, but I definitely know that Loco does a lot more for the team because he has the tools at the time to do more for the team. Well, I do chill out on my half days off, but I, I don't know. The way I chill out is. I go to sleep one hour earlier and I just lay in bed and talk to friends on Skype for an hour and then watch them show and go to bed. I don't want to waste too much time with this. Fuck! Ah! I didn't know he's gonna throw me lantern. I realized I'm getting carried really hard. I did do really well early, but then I started getting three man ganked two times and my team just started taking over. And I didn't really have to do anything anymore. might not get burned out or stressed out as much as we do because other teams just practice less like I know CLG practices a little less or maybe they have the same amount of scrims but they have no uh, they don't have to wake up around the same times as we do and they don't have to play solo queue like we have to play solo queue that's something that a lot of other teams don't have Anyways, I'm okay with that. Uh, there are teams that like goes out to eat a lot and goes watching movies like every week and stuff like that. That's fine. They probably, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe that's what they prefer, but that's definitely not how you can catch up to greens and stuff like that. Buffers is not bad, but pork is really, really good. BT is an OP option, but pork is better. Yeah, I guess I just saved it, but well, I don't want to be the second person. Oh my god, if you hit that spear. Change teams, and well, eventually we're gonna be better than those teams, I'm sure of it. If they keep practicing like they do, then they will fall off. Teams like Dig and Curse, I think, practice really hard. I admire that. I think those are the teams that practice the hardest, uh, except for us, and then probably yeah, probably C9 too. Some of C9's players play really hard, and some like don't play as much solo queue. I mean, he plays a lot of solo queue. Sneaky Lemon plays a lot of solo queue. I don't mean high as often anymore. So you see. Maybe they play as much or something. Yeah, I just know that Curse and Dig play a lot. What the 
fuck? Oh, did you see all my cues? I don't think we're the best team in NA right now, but I think we will be. And I think we improve at a faster rate than anyone else. <laughs> what a great ending to a great game! <laughs> Infamy, thanks for the sub, man. <laughs>